Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, another tutorial. If you're new here, my name is Uli Rosama. I'm a photographer and content creator. So in this video, you don't skip, you don't gonna see my um face, just because I'm not in my studio right now, my home setup studio. So that's why I'm gonna just record my um laptop screen and show you what I'm gonna do. So for this tutorial, we're gonna edit together this picture this is Dafka Gege and very nice model I really like to work with them um with she so that's that's the picture that's the picture um comes straight to the camera no no editing at all so this is my catalog okay and yes this is the after I put some color grading stuff on the on this picture this is before and after before and after pop up more the blue and create more put more sharpness on the picture and uh play with their uh colors a little bit and the curve one to have a nice fade um look i really like nice fade look how you can see in this picture so this is the before okay i really like soft light on my picture so that's that's why so now in this picture we're gonna export this picture on photoshop just come on e on your laptop or you can just uh right click and edit in photoshop okay that that's all in this picture i'm gonna remove the blemishes i have in this picture so for that i'm gonna create a new layer and just press g on my keyboard or just come here and choose the spot healing brush tool that's the best way i i, I want I, I go when i want to remove blemishes okay select um don't forget to, to sample all here yes i'm gonna remove all that blemishes from the backdrop the the wall because it's not a backdrop this is my wall my home wall so yes remove it and after that i'm gonna remove some meshes on their skin that's all yes maybe you move this one this one maybe this one also fix it okay good very easy guys so if you're doing this step the first time take your time and do it well because um with experiences i can do it fast but now but for you is it if is the your first time take your time and don't be um stressed so that's okay okay i'm gonna move i'm good now so i really like to zoom in and zoom out to see clearly because i'm not gonna remove i'm not gonna remove all blemishes on the first hair face because uh, for me imperfection imperfections is something uh can is something we make can that can make something more beautiful so that's why i'm not gonna remove all blemishes on your face so so in this picture also for the light setup i just want i just have my godox ad 200 just over there to create this blue light with the gel okay i create this blue light just every day like that okay and and this this light over there is a non light um little light 5 c i put an rgb mode with this pink color and i just um do do the photo and for the settings i think for the settings I am why can where where I can see the okay ISO 160 99 49 millimeter f2.8 and 180 180 seconds of shutter speed so that my, that's my settings yeah that's all. all right i think we're done so after that 
if you're doing before after this is the before and the after so what i'm gonna do is merge all the layer the layer and come on e on your keyboard to do that and now i'm gonna play with my and i'm gonna play my action back the wood graphic dojin burn action so yes i'm only using um dojin burn technique to it all my picture i don't like freaking inspiration okay so that's personal but you can use freaking inspiration if you want to but for me i really like to use dojin burn that's the for me is the result that i want it's more clean than freaking inspiration it can take you more time to do that but the result is very amazing you keep your um details on face on skins on skin and that that's what i want so that's why i use dodge and burn other than freaking inspiration okay take your time to do it to do it because it's not something you can just um just do it like Like I said, take your time because it's, it's very <laughs> not complicated, but if you take your time, it, the result is going to be better than if you are ruining. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed up the video because if I um, stay with the regular speed, this video can probably take more than 30, um, 30 and one hour to do because it's gonna be a, a long, long, long session. So let's speed up and after we're gonna back. Okay, guys, now we're done with the first, um, I can say, layer of dodge and burn. This is the before and after. Let me zoom it for you. Before 
and after how you can see i have all the details on her face so that's why i really love to um work with dodge and burn action then frequency inspiration so what i'm gonna do now let me just do something just over right there okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the second layer of dodge and burn but now just to put more contrast on her face and the old uh setup so i'm gonna use for this this one for the highlight okay put more highlight just over right there okay that's that's what i'm doing that's what i do with thus again layer of dodge and burn so yes and put more highlight just over there create more depth on her face okay just over there also put some more light that's the exactly what i'm doing what i'm doing okay Here we go just over there yes maybe put some ads right <laughs> here abs not ads abs and same thing with the burn okay so now you can see it's create more depth the character so that's that's all I like it this is a very nice picture and the model also is very nice so if I if I do before and after you can see it there is more depth more contrast on the image so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna create more contrast <laughs> this is the process I I um, I do when I'm editing picture so I'm gonna create a new level thing and just put some maybe some light just over there and not too much shadow before and after you can see there is more light and maybe play with uh, the color I have my color action so I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna play with the color the mid tone put some blue M saturate yes I like something blue more blue yeah in the shadows what I'm gonna do is put some more blue increase more blue. yeah not bad and that's all before and after very nice I'm gonna put my um, sharpen and capacity at 30 that's fine for me yes that's fine and put some grain I really love green in my picture guys as you can see on all my picture I really love green 40 yeah 40 is okay yes 40 is okay so merge and save and that's all maybe uh i'm gonna close it so light tool this is the before and the after before and after maybe i can put more saturate blue saturate the blue more with red though so yes and that's it guys this is the final result so Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. And, and if yes, give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more video like this, um, leave me your comment below. Tell me what you want to, to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.